sanded, primed, ready to go. And I started doing a rainbow gradient. I'm doing four canvases for this show, group show. Two down, one today, two down in total, two more to go. This one looks way smoother than the first one. If I were to switch things up right now, I would switch up. Um, so you can kind of see there's more of a gradual like color change right here. So I have four different cans just for blue, two greens, one yellow, and then orange and red. And so next time if I were to do this, I would just get more cans, more colors to make it naturally more smooth. So I have to do less blending with the actual can. But yeah, overall I'm happy with it. And um, let's keep it pushing. Obviously, you're going to be sitting around maybe two. I might like alternate work on one while the other one's drying, work on another. But I think I'm going to start with this guy and then maybe the one on the far left as well. Yeah, I'm excited. These edges are giving me life over here. Back in the studio, got the design all traced out, ready to paint. Gonna have to grab a bigger palette this time just for the amount of surf surface area that we're gonna have to cover. But I'm gonna get to it and uh, that first of four. So just sprayed all four, got this nice gradient, and then now we're just constructing ideas, constructing how we want this uh, spectrum to play, whether it's horizontal or vertical. But let's do it. <laughs> to take a break um, I'm watching the NBA finals right now and um, I'm over here like nervous watching LeBron and I can't even paint straight because my hands are all shaking my nervous system is going crazy at the moment so taking a break got some food right here can't see it we got a steak we got some carrots also plotting a color palette for next wall so uh, gonna eat this and watch LeBron win his next title. Up 20 game one. Let's get it. Oh, knock that down, Danny. Oh, good board. Good board. Monster. Let's go. Let's go. Time to knock out these hands. Not fully done with this background of the flowers, but uh, going to be dry brushing the hands. And essentially what that is, is using just like black oil out of the tube. There's a little bit of liquid in here, but out of the tube with a blender brush. And you uh, just slowly build up the black. You don't use any other color, and you just use black as the only color. And um, yeah, the highlights are just going to be where the where like the gradient shows through. And I might come back with a little bit of white afterwards, but we'll see. Um, new to this technique, so we'll see what we can do. And. Uh, yeah, let's do it, as always.
this canvas and we're doing some tessellation action on this one. So what I got here is some 3M stencil adhesive. Cover this whole thing, exacto knife, cut it out, and then we just go to town. For this one, it's about the growth process, the life cycle, the cyclical nature, I guess, of life, and how oftentimes I'm uh, pretty excited about this piece. Yeah, hopefully you like it. Word. This is uh, number three. I've not recorded a single ounce of this process. Uh, just in the woods, in the weeds, I guess. Trying to crank this out in like less than a week, so wasn't worried about it. But got to uh, this point and still have to glaze some more of this fade into the transition, but I also taped like a tessellation. Kind of see that. So tape that. And that's all the way through this whole thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, peel that off right now. As I said in that last clip, when I recorded that and was working on that piece, it was crunch time. So I didn't have any time to offload footage and focus on recording anything I was working on so it was a uh, nose to the grindstone we ended up getting everything done just in the nick of time and the gallery was happy with it they uh, made this video for each artist kind of displaying their work and doing the best that they could with coronavirus because normally when you have a show you have an opening and people are able to go through and see the work because artwork is made to be seen in person but because of everything going on, this is what uh, they decided to do. And so displaying the pieces this way and hopefully they sell, you know. Um, the show will be up, I believe, until December 11th. So still, still have a good month to check everything out. Let me know what you, what you think as far as the, the body of work, the concepts behind everything. And yeah, I was able to get a little bit of actual footage um, as the gallery was recording their own video, which I might release on here as well. But yeah, here's some footage that I was able to get of the installation. As you walk into the gallery, you kind of see the main space where the other four artists are displayed. And then there's like this back section where all my work was hanging up, making do through coronavirus, not letting anything stop the grind and we keep it pushing. But hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'll give out grind. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.